It's important to say that. You need it more than I do. <laughs> Tufam. Hi guys. So today, I hope you're all doing fine and uh, have enjoyed the last three videos from uh, the next generation, the TikTok generation, Cedric and Sebastian. But today's video is about one of the tech partners we're working closely with now towards Tokyo, Kona and Sub7. It's called uh, Core, which is basically a sensor that I'm testing around my heart rate monitor and it's basically measuring my core temperature. But today we will do some uh, fancy testing on the track, both on the run and on the bike. So, wait and see. How long does this calibration take? What are we doing now? So, what we're doing now is that we basically are uh, working on something that is called direct calimetry. Um, it will, how, when, how we do it is that we actually have a quit with you with a lot of heat flux sensors on the body from a company called Green Tech. And then in order now to work on the validation, because we basically doesn't, we haven't covered your whole body, but parts of your body with these sensors, we also need to make an algorithm to how to normalize it for your body. That's why we have a lot of them. And then in order to validate it, we are using the view to master uh, and some other equipment to get a comparison of calimetry or indirect calimetry and then basically look at how that matches up with the direct calimetric or heat flux data and in addition we have the power of course and some biomechanical or looking at the efficiency of aerodynamics and so on as well so yeah that's what we're doing so we're kind of looking at how much and no, of all the oxygen i'm breathing in how much is going into power on the bike and how much is going uh, and producing heat exactly. so that's, that's why i have all the heat sensors, all the sensors yeah. so that's actually that's actually also the concept of actually then looking at the enthalpy where you basically look at okay how much so of all the energy you are i would say you have in a body that you're converting into i would say energy that does work a lot of the work actually is just heat and then uh, a fairly okay fraction of that is work and then there's a, some tiny entropy that we don't measure but basically we are heat that's very important power is very important and then also learn more about how we can maybe do something with that relationship as we see in the lab or as you see in the lab uh 17 percent of the energy or the oxygen i'm breathing in goes to power rest goes to heat so we will see if i can get up to like the level of a cyclist where they're maybe at 23 percent efficiency instead yeah. yeah actually it's a little bit higher now but i remember when the first times when the first years when we worked on this you were closer to 17 to yeah 17 percent now you're closer to i would say uh, 19 19 percent but we also know that tripes normally has a poor efficiency than, uh, than the cyclist, but uh, triathletes compensate normally with a higher view to max two because you're training a little bit differently, you're running and all these kind of things as well. Okay, so that's it. Especially for sub seven and longer distance, it's crucial. And also with the heat in, in Tokyo, it's gonna be important to be efficient. Absolutely. I hope the sound is gonna work with this mask on. Hi, I'm Chris Blumfield brown the product manager for CORE. CORE is a new technology that the Norwegian triathlon team is using, and it's basically this small device 
that's worn on against the skin and it measures their core body temperature. Um, so they can actually monitor their core body temperature as they're doing their activities, as they're competing. When they compete, uh, one thing that a lot of people don't know is when you compete and you're doing the activity, your temperature goes up quite a bit. So uh, it goes up to high fever levels. We've recorded people over 40 degrees. And why this is important, when they get up to these fever levels uh, temperatures, their performance can actually be degraded. So that's why they put in strategies and they train for it so the temperatures do not affect them uh, as much as an uh, untrained person would be. And as they're heading to Tokyo, this is a really important part of their program. But here uh, in, in Sierra Nevada, we're doing a little bit more advanced testing where we're doing more information. The, the core sensor tells them a little bit more information. So for clothing and some uh, advanced stuff that we're looking at now. So we're up here with Olav and the team and doing some advanced testing and we're finding uh, some interesting results so we can help progress the team even further in the future. And can you say a little bit how the sensor is working? How it's measuring the core temperature from the outside? Yep. So core is based on a new sensor technology developed in Switzerland. And it, base, it basically, it measures, um, uh, it, it, this sensor is used in the laser industry where they measure laser power. It's also being used on the International Space Station. So it's a very high tech, completely different way, a different approach on how to measure core body temperature. And basically what we do is we measure energy transfer. Now energy transfer to explain this to you is if I ask you to hold your hand out and tell me what the temperature is, you have a hard time doing that. It's hard to differentiate 21.2 degrees or 18 degrees. Or if I ask you to touch two different materials, if I, I grab a piece of metal and grab a piece of wood, one will feel colder than the other one. Most of us will say, oh, the metal's colder, but actually they're both exactly the same temperature. What happens is your your body, as we just demonstrated with your hand, is a bad thermometer, but we measure, we feel energy transfer. And this is what this new sensor technology measures, is we measure that energy transfer. And if you can figure out the energy transfer, then you can figure out the energy source, which is your core body temperature. Sometimes it isn't easy to get up when we fall. There is a storm building deep inside. The fight is never over. The battle rages on. We can.